my name is Marina. I am a fashion, lifestyle, and travel content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and my blog at Her Millennia Closet. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I want to say welcome, girl. Welcome to my channel, and sorry for the background noise, city living. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you are just joining me and meeting me for the first time, welcome. On this side of YouTube, we do modest, we do colorful, we do mid-size, and a whole lot of fashion. <laughs> if you're returning, welcome back, sis. You know what we do, how we do, when we do it, how we do it. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but you know what we do on here, okay? Grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, wine, whatever you are into, grab it, because we about to have a good old time, okay? <laughs> Today, YouTube video, I have never done this. And this year, I told myself I'm gonna try so many awesome different YouTube video creation, different content. I just don't want to keep doing the same things. <laughs> so, and it's really shocking that I'm a fashion content creator and I've never created this type of video before, which is so wild. But anyway, it's never lived and never, right? Is that what it is? <laughs> it's not lived and never, whatever the word is. <laughs> it's not late, we're still gonna do it because we're here and we're thriving, we survive, okay? Now, today YouTube video, we're doing fashion trend for summer and spring. Uh, spring and summer, or uh, summer, spring, whatever. <laughs> whatever day or uh, season you're watching this video in right now, <laughs> we are doing this summer trend for that, okay? We're doing the trend for that season. <laughs> Okay, so I have picked a couple of trends um, that I see everywhere on my FYU page, on my <laughs> TikTok page, Instagram, on the blogs that I read, on news media, everywhere. It's like these are the trends on the runway. These are the trends the girls are saying, the fashion world is saying we are having this yeah. Now, some of them are not my favorite, <laughs> but I'm going to share them anyway, and we're going to have a conversation about them. Like, what would you wear this type of fashion? Is it something that you like? Is it something that you're into? We're about to have this type of conversation. <laughs> okay. Now, if you haven't already done this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll receive every single content I post. I post on here twice a month on Mondays. Okay, um, if you don't already know this, I own the blog. It is www.hermillennialcloset.com. I post on it every Saturday from fashion trend to beauty finds to food recipe to what's new in my closet. All of those amazing things are also on the blog. I have been blogging this year, I'll make it four years now. So it's really exciting to be hitting the four year mark and pushing and thriving. So yeah, and when you're on the blog, please um, subscribe to my newsletter. I sent out newsletter again twice a month. So you literally receive sales and content and personalized content between you and I. Okay? Check it out. Enough talking. <laughs> Let's get right up into this video because I'm super excited about that. Now, the fresh trend. This actually started last year and I'm seeing it. It's going to be a lot more of it this year <laughs> and that's why i'm like mm, i don't know about this one but i'm still gonna share it anyways for the girls that are into this type of fashion here is it this is the short short fashion trend there's literally <laughs> in my head this is underwear <laughs> but i've seen this on runway shows that i've watched i've seen this in news fashion news i've seen a lot and i'm just like is this really where we are heading with fashion but again everybody has their own choice everybody have their own design the short shorts some brands have made it into a ready to wear some brands have like escalated it up and turned into a matching set some brands literally went all out with this and like this is what we're bringing to you on the runway and this is what you're going to wear again like i said I don't know if I'm a fan of this type of fashion because again, I'm a modest babe, but at the same time, it is a fashion trend that is going to be around. I don't know if it's gonna last more than two, three years. To be very transparent, I don't think it's gonna last that long, but I think it's, it's fun. It's new, it's innovative, it's different. Is it my cup of tea? Like I said earlier, no, but it's something different. They have the crochet, they're turning it into different things now, the matching set, they have it in a suit. I love how some people are styling it on the runway and making it, trying to make it modest with some pantyhose or stockings underneath it. 
again, <laughs> is it worth it? I don't know. I'm not trying to batch it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, for me personally, it's not something I would wear, but it is a fashion trend and I'm seeing so many people in it. I want to see a big girl in this maybe because everybody i've seen is a size smaller than i am and it's not even this size so i would love to see like a bigger girl in this type of fashion and really see if it's like if it's it right but there are different sizes they're different like i'm seeing it in most of a suit just depends i've seen other content creator like style it up and like share it on that feed again it's 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 one of those fashion trends you choose to say, do I partake in it or do I just watch the girlies do it? That That's the kind of conversation you need to have with yourself. <laughs> it's like, do I want to partake in this trend or just watch? And the other side about this is, it's like, for me, what I'll alternate this with is just a regular short. I, I think if you watch my video, when I did the Amazon haul, I mentioned that Personally, it's hard for me to find shorts that fit me, but if you want to partake in this trend, maybe just go with a regular shorts versus this type of fashion. But again, it's out there. Check it out. I don't know if it's going to be a trend that will last for more than three, four years. I don't know, but I feel like it's one of those you just... Just do it for the heck of it. So I'm doing it and I'm gonna see how it turns out. You might like it. <laughs> you might really like it. But yeah, that is the first fashion trend that I'm seeing right now. It's like everywhere it's popular. It's like the girls are in it. I personally, I would love to see a mid-sized girl or a bigger girl in this if it's worth it. Now, <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it's, I'm not gonna be the test team. I wanna see someone else though, <laughs> okay? That was the first one on my list. Um, the second fashion trend I'm seeing is a lot of sheer material, sheer dresses, sheer, 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 sheer. Now, if you don't know this, I own a clothing brand. I own a women I'm ready to wear brand and I have been sourcing fabric recently and every fabric store I walked into or every fabric designer I speak to, they're all pushing sheer material right now. So yeah, check out my clothing website. It's www.swag.com, swagclothing.com. We just launched um, back in February. Right now you would just see our old, um, our current line there. But yeah, more content, more clothing will be brought on. We're a new brand. Check us out, learn more about us. Right now we're selling robes. We're gonna venture into other pieces in the future. But yeah, check us out, okay? <laughs> All right, back to trending item number two, which is sheer material. A lot of sheer is out there right now, and I kinda like it. It's breathable for someone like me that live in the state of Texas. It's hot out here. The heat, it's humid. So you need something comfortable, especially if you're going to a tropical vacation. Um, I'm getting married this year in um, South Africa. Yay! <laughs> I'm doing a destination wedding. So I am all for the sheer material. So I'm here now. Some of them are very risque, <laughs> but I don't know if it's me. Uh, I'm not going to wear them, but the more risky one though. But I've seen different, different designers and brands come up with their own version. Jacquemus have some, um, Gaia have some. Um, I've seen them on different runways and I actually, I don't mind. It's just, I think it's a, they're trying to elevate um, nightwear or lounge wear, so I'm not against that. I've seen it like, again, I know most of these brands and fashion shows, they put out like, really models, but I would love to see mid-sized girls and big-sized girls on the runway in these type of pieces, so I can really understand if it's practical. Now, most brands are trying to do ready to wear, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, but it's just like, most fashion houses are putting out ready to wear, but they're not doing it for the realistic women, and that's, that's, that's my problem. Show me girls that look like me. <laughs> Show me women that are bigger than me or some. So I can see how ready to wear that is. But these are really cute. I fell in love with the Cult Gaia one, especially for a bride. This is gonna be really cute for wedding night or something like that. But there are different options, different material, different drip, different um, silhouette, different designs. And I'm liking it. Again, I'm not, I'm not a big 
fun faded dress kind of girl but I love to see them or other people out of mind if it fit you that's good I'm not a fun faded kind of girl but I'm into the, the sheer trend because like I said I'm a women's wear lamb um, owner and we're getting ready to do our summer spring collection and we're bringing sheer material as well it is in this season so if you have some in your suitcase if you have some in the back of your closet this is your chance to bring it out because it is here it's not going anywhere <laughs> the powerhouses the fashion houses are bringing them you're going to see a lot of them on your instagram on your feed this this summer girl dab into it <laughs> dab into it i was reading the vogue fashion release back in i think february or so and i saw so much share <laughs> on the end that night because i was like oh wow it's literally gonna be around here for a while <laughs> so now this fashion trend it has been around it never went away i feel like it's just getting this chance on the runway or in the public eye now and that's okay with that is it gonna go away after two years no it's gonna be around but it's not gonna be popular as it is right now it's still gonna be around okay <laughs> that was number two <laughs> moving on to number three let me know if you're liking this so far and it's something that you really enjoy to see because i love to have more of these conversations with you guys especially just doing style videos all the time okay <laughs> all right the next thing we have it is the the next thing we have is the high rise trouser now this is this is becoming really trendy this year for multiple reasons one i one, it is more comfortable than a leggings, and it's more elevated than, a, leggings is comfortable, let me not say that, but it's a more elevated version of a dress down, right? And well, cargo pants is trending, or cargo pants were trending so much the year before and the year last, the year prior to that, people are still trying to keep it around. So just keeping it high with that, and keeping it in that line, I feel like that's what they're trying to do here. But I've seen a lot of high with that, silhouette tailored pants on the wrong way as well but trying to make it ready to wear right so i'm not against this i'm actually for this because for me high waisted pants is my go-to so this trend i am living in it <laughs> this summer get ready to see so much of me in them because finally something that i can relate to something that i can connect with so i'm here for this one all right <laughs> uh, we have like some really tailored high waisted pants some linen ones. I'm here for the linen ones because it's really hard to find a good linen pants. So I'm here for this color wave of high waisted pants showing light to that. It's really silhouette your waistline and make you look very skinny. <laughs> okay, I support it. Andrea and Yama have a really good one that is on my wish list. It's been on my wish list for so long. It is still there, but I'm here for it. I just support it. And like I said, Show me ready to wear or some of these trends in this size body. And this, I've seen it in plus size and mid size. I've seen it and I'm here for it. They have some of the tailored ones, very structured. Like if you're looking for some and you want to kind of splurge a little, like I said, the Andrea Iyama version, the, um, what's the lady, the Hanifa, has some in cargo. It's, it's such a killer vibe. I need that and it's just it's just perfect it's one of those uh, it's one of these trends that I am not against at all I 100% support it I cannot wait to see how the girls turn this into like for me I've always been a high waisted pants girl it, it lifted my closet it lifted my head rent free and yeah so I'm 100% here for it it's, it's a trend that is never going to I'm not going to use the word never <laughs> I don't think it will ever go away. I think it's a trend that they'll keep adding on to it. Like I said earlier, the cargo pants is something that they turned into a hot waist and kept it around. Um, you're gonna see different version of high waist that different structure, different silhouette, different colors, but it's not gonna go away completely because it's an actual ready to wear trend. It's a trend that a lot of people connect to, a lot of people use every day, and a lot of people relate to. So I don't think it's ever gonna go away. It's just gonna keep evolving over time. <laughs> okay, that was another trend. And the next one I wanted to talk about was the barrel, barrel jeans, barrel pens. I call it the Delon pens, but the real name for it is the barrel pens. And this pens is one of those trends that because I'm short, <laughs> because I have a really short 
um, my height is not that long. I don't know if I'll fit into this trend just yet. Like the cargo pants trend, I never got into it. I struggle with getting into that trend. I think it was last year I finally got a cargo pants at the end of the year and I still never got into it. I wore it once, I took a photo and that was it. <laughs> and with this trend, I'm seeing it, it's just like everywhere. It's on all my feeds, it's on every place I turn. It's one of those trends that I'm buzzing. And again, is it gonna be a lasting trend? Mm, I don't know. Is it gonna be around longer than two years, maybe? People love funky clothes. People love character clothes. I said this on my channel. Don't be afraid to buy funky character clothes. So this is one of them that you can get. The barrel fashion. They have different structure, color, design. And I don't know yet. I don't know about me getting into it, but I really, I like it actually. I like it. I've seen um, it style in different ways. I've seen it built in different ways. It's mostly in jeans. So if you're a jeans girl, you're gonna like it. If you're a, a casual wear girl, minimalistic girly, you are going to like it. I am seeing this everywhere. It's good for the summer. It's a perfect summer vacation kind of outfit. I've seen it in different style, in different season. Um, it was, it came out fall last year or a year prior to that, but it just became really trendy now. It's, 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 it's everywhere. <laughs> you are going to have fun with it. Just enjoy it. It's one of those trends. I would say dab into it. It's good. It's modest. If you're a, if you're a modest girl like me, it is modest. It's different, correct, but it's wearable trend. And it's, it's not a flimsy material trend that the fiber will go bad. It's a denim trend. So obviously, you're going to have a good time with it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Okay? <laughs> I actually like that trend. I am going to get me one and style it and let you know how it goes. Okay? <laughs> the next trend we are going to look at is the funky accessories. Now this, this trend is very, very involving. It's for everybody and anyone. Now, even though I'm not a big earring girl, you will see that, but when I do braids, when I do ponytails, I go for funky and big accessories. And this trend, please go for it. Now, there's a black brand that I really like, and she's amazing, it's called Koi. I think if, you've, if you're on Instagram, you've heard about Koi by now. She was a blogger that launched her own earring line. So check her out, okay? But this trend, I'm here for it. The funky jewelry, the funky accessories, I support this. The big and oversized earrings. They have different ones with the little metal going everywhere. The twirl version of it. I support this trend wholeheartedly. I'm here for it. It's like, it gives you so much character to your outfit. It makes you stand out. It makes you, especially vacation time, it just stand out so, so much. I've seen it on runways. I've seen companies like use it to elevate that outfit. I've seen some runway shows where they just have one massive chunky earrings and then the other one, there's a little teeny bitty either earrings so you don't get to see it. So. I support this trend, I'm for it. Imagine this summer, you have on the braids, you have this massive gold hoops. Not even a hoops, it's like, it's an elevation version of a hoops earring. They're just doing more metals, more metals, more metals. I support this. Now, if you're into gold tune accessories, like I am, this is for you. You are going to love this so much. Like, I support this trend with my full chest. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for the diversity in it. I'm here for this trend. I support it so much because it gives you, it elevates your look. It, it's just accessories. I've seen a funky sunglasses, I've seen funky bangles and stuff. But I just talked about earrings in this one because they're like easy to get, easy to get your hand off. Is it a trend that's gonna last? Yes, it will, it's a lasting trend because oversized jewelry have been around. We've always wore hoops earrings. It's not a, it's, it's not new to you. The difference with this is it's now on the runway. More fashion houses are using it. It's being called out as a trend, and we are here for it. Are you here for it? Because I am. <laughs> okay. The next trend I'm gonna talk about is ready to wear. Ready to wear trends are like my favorite. 
and I'm, I'm actually supportive of this because I, I, you don't have to always buy like, you don't have to be looking at a couture on the runway or you don't have to be all fancy looking dressed, no. Ready to wear is easy, it's shirts and the pants and the jeans. More brands, more powerhouse are going for casual ready to wear. I love this look with the distressed denim jeans and a really oversized white casual shirt. It's not, it's not that much going on to it, but it's a good ready to wear um, um, outfit. This next look is a gorgeous red dress. It's a good ready to wear. It's not over the top, and I love how they made it casual. She's not wearing a heels with this. She's wearing a sly or flip flops or whatever you want to call it. It's a good ready to wear. It's all red going on. This is vacation. This is beach. It's on the runway. They have the matchy strap set this is them trying to make up for all of the time we were in COVID like if you remember COVID a lot of people started working from home people weren't getting out of the house people weren't buying couture pieces anymore so now like fashion houses are trying to make up for that and trying to restore where they lost a lot of capital so you're seeing them bringing ready to wear on the runway that is good for us right because I cannot buy a $3,000 or $10,000 couture dress, but I can buy a ready-to-wear right off the runway and I wear it. And I support that as a ready-to-wear brand owner myself. This is spectacular. I'm here for it. I see a lot of vacation pieces. I see a lot of matchy sets on the runway. I see a lot of colors, a lot of prints. These are amazing ready-to-wear pieces for you to really go after this summertime just it just it's just touching more on what we all talk what we need in our closet what you've been looking for <laughs> you can now say okay i watched that runway show i love this ready to wear set this shirt i love it i'm just gonna buy it and wear it and that is why i'm here i'm here for this I support this 100,000%, okay? Ready to wear fashion. I'm so glad they are getting that spotlight on the runway now because they never really got it before and now they do, so I'm here for it. I support that. Is it gonna be a lasting trend? Absolutely. Are they going to always be giving the spotlight they're giving right now? Hmm. But it is still a trend even if it's not trending. Right? <laughs> okay, the next one I'm gonna talk about is the ballet flat. Now, the mesh ballet flats, they have all kinds. Now, because I'm short, okay, because I'm a short lady, I'm actually 5'4", I'm not that short. I cannot wear shoes that low, right? I'm one of those people that walk on the side of that legs, of that feet, so my feet is not straight flat, it's like tilted. Ballet fly is not for me. <laughs> but it's a trend that is around, and I'm very, I'm actually impressed how the fashion house, the powerhouses, have gone ahead and create different designs of it different color wave, different layout, uh, what's the brand name? Um, Free people have a really unique version of it. They have different color, they have the neck one. Um, I know there's a brand, I, I could be wrong with the name article or something like that. They have literally had everybody in the chokehold with that version of it. It's just like, I mean, it's cute, especially the mesh ones. It's really, really cute. However, like I said, for someone like me that have like a very flat feet, it won't, it tilt the feet, it won't be a fashion for me. However, it's cute. They have, they have designs of the, what's the word? <laughs> Sparkles all up on them. It's cute, it's fancy, it's beautiful. Would I get into it right now? I don't know. I remember a year or two ago when they were pushing for ballet flat to be a thing. People were like against it. <laughs> People were speaking so bad about it. And I was just saying, I was like, just wait. And it just wait. It's going to be a thing eventually. And it really did. And it reminds me of these slides we used to wear when we were kids back, back in the day. <laughs> if I find a photo of it, I'll put it on the screen. It literally reminds me of that. And I've seen people like, Put it on as um, compared to ballet fly, like, ah, this is what you're trying to sell us. We've already ran through this. Still, it's called vintage fashion. You bring it back and elevate it. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against the, the mesh ballet flights at all trend. 
it's just something that I won't indulge you to it, but I will literally be rooting for everybody that's into it. <laughs> okay, that brings me to the end of this week video. Let me know if you like this, if it was helpful. This is your guide to kind of see what's trending, what's out there, what to get involved with. If you're not into trendy fashion, that is absolutely okay. But just to keep you on the news, right? I saw this um, thing on TikTok. It says, for my girlies in their 30s, they are using, I think ATM or ACM <laughs> right now. It's a trend. I don't know what it is, but this is your chance to keep you up to date with what's going on, okay? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell and you'll receive every single content I post. I post them here once, twice a month on Mondays. Thank you so much. God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.